Hello everyone, my name is Polat Darcin. I'm working as a research assistant in the Yıldız Technical University in Istanbul, Turkey. Uh, and this semester, one of my courses is about building materials. I will be preparing these short videos for students to study the subject before the class, so we will be more we will have more time for discussions and exercises during the class. The course is for 15 weeks. We are going to start with definitions and after that we are going to examine the properties of building products. The next five weeks will be spared for learning the properties of most common materials like cement, glass, wood. And after that, we are going to analyze and study how to use these materials to form up other building products. In this first video, I'm going to talk about building products, their life cycle, uh, how to make proper decisions about them. Let's start with building. Uh, as you all know, uh, in order to maintain a healthy and good life, humans require a reorganized living spaces, uh, which, uh, will be, which must be compatible to their needs. So, uh, as architects, we are mainly separating a part of natural environment with uh, an envelope. Uh, in other terms, we are creating a man-made environment uh, and in this envelope uh, we can have uh, necessary living spaces bearing essential living conditions. Based on this space statement, uh, the primal function of a building is to offer a healthy and safe environment to its users. That's its main function. Uh, so, this building, this envelope, and its uh, indoor man-made environment should, must uh, protect their users, users from the negative features of natural environment outside. We can define a building as any fixed or mobile, private or government, governmental construction that is temporarily or permanently erected on or under the surface of earth or water. Buildings may consist of closed, semi-closed and open living spaces. These living spaces are particularly arranged and organized in order to fulfill, fulfill their users' needs, needs by architects. Let's look at the building products. These living spaces uh, as we can see, a semi-open living space uh, from the southeast region of Turkey, Diyarbakir. It's called an A1. Uh, it can be a fully closed living space. Uh, another uh, example from the Diyarbakir houses, uh, it's a room. These spaces, uh, they execute a function themselves, such as a kitchen, a living room, a classroom. We define them as building units. It's the first of is the first part of building products. All the spaces of building, including units, building units, they are formed by building elements. We can define the building elements as integral products composed of physically meet one or some of the functions of a building. The elements of building, we can classify them as foundations, floors, roofs, walls, stairs, structural systems, gas installation systems, electrical installation systems, and so on. At this point, we need to uh, look at two notions, structure and construction. Every object, including building elements, uh, they are sustained by a system called structure. Structure is the anatomy, or we can call it a framework or a car carcass, the, which holds the form sustained. Uh, in some examples, we can see the structure as a separate object, like uh, this uh, part of the table. It's the system, it's the anatomy uh, that holds the form of this table. But in some examples, it's unable to uh, separate the uh, structure. The, the object itself, it, it has its structure inside, like this glass. 
However, construction is a process. It's the process of production of a building. And it has some basic stages. First of all, this process must uh, start with a, a specific need. After that, we need to design a form to fu fulfill this requirement, this need. Uh, we need to design a structure to hold this form up. And we need to use proper products, vehicles and methods to materialize this design. Building elements are formed with materi uh, building materials, pieces and components. These are the other parts, other levels of building products. We put them together, we put these materials, pieces and components together. So we can have a specific building element and this building element uh, will function. Uh, to fulfill uh, one of the functions of the building. Let's look at the building materials. These are the basic mass and mostly raw materials, raw products uh, for construction of a building. Uh, these are obtained at the, this can be, these can be obtained at the end of natural or artificial processes and this is the important part. They do not have definable geometrical forms. They can be stones, natural stones, like marble or sandstone. Clay is another building material. Uh, we can uh, have steel, copper and other metals as uh, raw metals, raw materials. Uh, we, we can have um, wood, fibers, plastics, glass, aggregates, binders, concrete, mortar, bitumen materials, paint, varnish. If I take a building material which doesn't have a definable form and give them a definable de geometry, give, give it a form uh, with a special function and uh, if I put them together and at the end it will constitute a, a whole then it's called building product a building piece it's the next level building pieces are the every one of all objects which are made by forming materials for a special function i form the materials for a special function and these objects these objects they will constitute a whole when uh, they are brought together like this wall First of all, I had the material. When I give the form, uh, I will have a building piece, the next level, the upper level. And uh, when I put them together, there will be a meaningful uh, hole, like this wall. Or like this uh, floor covering. Blocks, tiles. Profiles, pipes, cables, meshes, plates, made of different uh, materials like metals, like plastic, like uh, clay, uh, are the basic building um, pieces. Building components, the third level, they are, the, they are produced by combining materials and pieces or by forming them distinctively. These products have a special place and function in the building, like windows, wash basins, radiators. First of all, I had this uh, wood material uh, without a definite, definable geometry. Uh, so I, when I form it up, uh, I turn it to a piece. Uh, we, and by combining it with other pieces, I had the structure of this roof. So. Uh, I, now I have the building component of this roof. This is the first component. Another component for the installations and the last component for the covering materials. They are going to uh, sum up the roof. Or they can be formed distinctively uh, and they have a specific place and function, like this wash basin. 
The basic product for the construction of a building is the material. Other building products, other levels like pieces, components, elements or units, they are produced by forming the materials and uni uniting these formed materials together with different techniques for various purposes, gathering end products by using products of its sublevel. Let's look at this uh, diagram. First of all, I have a, mm, a mass of earth. It's it doesn't have a definable geometrical form. It's raw, uh, so it's called the material. This is the soil, the earth, the material, the first level. If I give a definite definable form to it, uh, I I will have a piece, uh, the earth plus the form. I will have a brick, which. Uh, which will be uh, which will uh, compose a meaningful whole when brought together, like the uh, this part, this middle part of the wall. It's a component now. I combine different um, bricks with another material like the cement mortar, and I will have a component. If I combine this component with other components like uh, the window, like the discovering material, I will have the element, the wall element. And the different elements, when they are combined, uh, I will have the unit, and the units will uh, produce the building. They are all the building products, including the building itself. Let's take uh, one material, let's take this clay. If, if I add some water to it, I will have clay, clay mortar. It's another material. If I give a definable form to it, I will have a clay brick. It's a piece now. Or I can create a component, a ceramic wash basin out of this clay. I, I can have an element, a ramped earth. Or I can have a living room. A living room and adopt a double living room or I can make the whole building out of just one material normally we use different materials with the aim of producing the building building products can be obtained via selecting them uh, selecting proper um, produced finished products according to the uh, properties of these products gathered through an information system I can produce them by combining different sub-level different sub products, or I can develop new products.